welcome to jee max jee mains advanced extreme series season 2 of jee max and through this season we are completely concentrating one important topic which is very very useful for jee mains and advanced of their complex number season 1 so far in complex numbers we have successfully completed 32 lessons this is about lesson number 33 Lesson number thirty-two as well as lesson number thirty-three are very very important. If you have missed the lesson number thirty-two, don't please don't worry. I am providing all the links. That's why please check the description. There I am providing the links of our previous all thirty videos. And here we are completely now concentrating on solving the problems problems from Icon Integrated Test Books. And in lesson number thirty-three we are concentrating uh, exercise four point three of Integrated Test Book and. here we are concentrating now problem number 14 and 15 now my friends this is important question somewhat a very difficult and lengthy question and very very important for competitive examination not for board examinations see find the value of least to positive argument least to positive argument so far we are finding the least value or greatest value of z or mod z but here they are asking least to positive argument so we are finding now the least and greatest values of uh, argument which is satisfies this one so whenever this kind of uh, inequality is given for you immediately you should get an idea that what is that structure what that uh, locus indicates so you just consider z is equal to x plus i y If you have considered that z as x plus y, then mod z minus one minus two y. This is less than or equal to one means what? This is mod of x minus one plus i into y minus two less than or equal to one. This is what after squaring x minus one whole square plus y minus two whole square. Less than or equal to one. So this indicates what? It indicates a circle with the center as one comma two and radius one. So this indicates it's a circle with the center as one comma two and radius as what? One. So now you properly you draw the rough sketch of this diagram, and we are now concentrating on those particular values because on the in that particular region, say. For example, the circle may be like this. The circle may be like this. So now we are finding the complex number. So this is center of the circle. Now several complex numbers, including the circumcenter of the circle, uh, it, it, it never it it never crosses the x-axis. It never crosses x-axis because if it crosses x-axis, put y equal to zero. If I have uh, taken y equal to zero, then what will happen? Uh, y equal to zero. X minus one whole square. Uh, X minus one whole square. Plus four, less than or equal to one. It comes, so it is x minus one whole square less than or equal to minus three, which is not possible. So it never crosses x-axis. Maybe it touches y-axis because if you put y equal to zero, uh, x is equal to zero, it be what? Y minus two whole square is less than or equal to. Of course, one one gets cancelled zero, so it may touch the x-axis at zero comma two. So the point may be the zero comma two. Point may be the zero comma. That's why, first of all, after finding the locus, we have to draw the rough sketch of the diagram. So the sketch, rough, rough sketch of the figure is nothing but a circle which touches y-axis at zero comma two and center as what to one comma two. So this is the circle. So several complex numbers are there in this region. Now we are concentrating. After that, which complex number has positive argument, least positive argument? that we have to find so my friends the complex number having least positive argument how to calculate means suppose this is origin if i have drawn suppose if it is origin i am drawing the circle very neatly like this see so this is origin suppose this is the complex number on the circumference of the circle such that see several complex numbers are there several complex numbers are there several complex numbers having several arguments several arguments and this is the only complex number having the least argument so the complex number having the least argument is such that 
it should be the point of contact of the cation which is passing through drawn from RSN. It is the point of contact of the RSN drawn from the RSN. So, I want to find this point of contact of the origin and I want to find the argument of this complex number and I want to show that argument of this particular complex number as tan inverse 3 by 4. How to get it? That I will explain. Don't worry. Don't worry. You please note down. So, this is my x axis and this is my y axis. This is my x-axis and this is my y-axis and of course this is my circle and this is my center and of course this is uh, if I have join uh, origin and center and this is the tangent okay where it uh, uh, touches the circle and of course my friends now this is the locus so this indicates all interior points with the boundary area of the circle with the center 1 comma 2 and radius 1. So this is the complex number having the least least argument. So this argument I want to find, this theta I want to find. How to find I, that theta? How to find that theta is the question. Okay, no problem. See this is O, say this point is P. Say this point is P. So, this is center and distance o, OC I am finding. What is OC? OC is equal to good 5. And I am finding CP. CP is equal to 1. CP is equal to 1. And OP is equal to 2. This is my 2. This is my 2. Because it is a right angle triangle. Clear? Okay. Now, I, what I am doing is, see, this suppose this is with theta, x o p is equal to theta. Now, if this is what a tangent and this tangent is passing through R z. So, what is the equation of any tangent which is passing through R z? That is y equal to mx. If it is tangent, a line becomes tangent to the circle when the perpendicular distance from center onto the line is equal to radius of the circle. So, now what is center 1 comma 2. So, if it, since it is a tangent to the circle, so, so perpendicular distance is equal to radius. So, what is perpendicular distance? Center is equal to 1 comma 2 and this is my line. So, this is the perpendicular distance which is equal to radius 1. After simplification, I got value for m as what? 3 by 4. m means slope of this line that is tan theta. So, tan theta is equal to 3 by 4. This is the brilliant technique, brilliant technique one should uh, practice because among all complex numbers in this particular region, the complex number which is the point of contact of the tangent drawn from the origin has what? Least positive argument. Again, this knowledge is also again very, very useful for solving several other questions even in circles also. Actually, this is the problem has been converted the knowledge of the quadratic geometry into complex planes. That's why if you are imaginating this kind of questions, even from the quadratic geometry problems, you can do wonders with the complex numbers because quadratic geometry and complex numbers almost they are same. Only plane matters. Okay. Now coming to 14th second problem. Okay. What is given? If mod of z minus i is less than or equal to 2, z1 is equal to 3 plus 4i is given. What is the maximum value? Again, here what I am doing is I am applying all the properties of modulus of z1 plus z2 which is less than or equal to mod z1 plus mod z2. For that, I need to convert the entire thing because in my hand, what is given mod of z minus i is given and I know what is z1. But here what is given mod of ij plus z1 is given. So, here the question is uh, simply manipulations are important. What kind of manipulation that I am doing with the help of these two given information is the question mark. So, how to use this is you need to practice. Remaining all other things are nothing for you. See, this is given, this is given. We can write this as this is the beautiful step. First, I am taking i as common 
and of course mod of uh, a mod z1 z2 is equal to mod z1 into mod z2 this is this i can write it as 1 plus uh, ij mod i is 1 so mod of 1 plus ij is less than or equal to again uh, now i want this value so finally with the help of this i got the value of uh, mod of 1 plus ij the reason is because now what i am doing is now i am manipulating this is the technique these are the main important things that one should practice these are the hidden techniques if you are thorough with these techniques then problem is nothing for you because now it is what i have converted like this now what is mod of z1 plus z2 mod of z1 plus z2 is less than or equal to mod z1 plus mod z2 so apply that this is what mod of 1 plus ij and this is what what is z1 z1 is 3 pi minus 4i this is given as what root 2 and this is what root of 4, 4 plus uh, 16 therefore 2 plus root 20 you can get so my friends please practice here then the question the manipulation is very very important you need to practice that kind of steps that only with the practice one can get it these ideas these are all of the familiar techniques familiar techniques in general we are using we can use this kind of things in solving several questions in all algebra and trigonometry also and of course 15 and of course my friends mod z is equal to uh, 1 is given show that argument of uh, uh, tan of argument z by 2 equal to 1 minus z by 1 plus this is also one of the title favorite question in entire uh, complex numbers of course i can take without loss of generality my z is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta so argument z is equal to what theta argument z is equal to what theta so now what is 1 minus z by 1 plus z? That is the question. That is 1 minus of cos theta minus i sin theta. Right? 1 plus cos theta plus i sin theta. So this is I can write it as 2 sin square theta by 2. Minus 2i sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2. And this is again 2 cos square theta by 2 plus 2i sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2. Conveniently you take 2 minus 2i sin theta by 2 as common from numerator. So this is cos theta by 2 minus i sin theta by 2. By denominator you take 2 cos theta by 2 as common. These are all of the routine and familiar steps. Plus i sin theta by 2. Okay. Or please one second, please check it. 1 plus i by 1 minus z. This is right, right, right. This is a 2 cos square theta by 2 plus 2i sin theta by 2. So this is perfectly right. Here it is also uh, minus 2i. I am taking minus 2i. Uh, sin theta by 2 and this is uh, uh, plus uh, 2i square oh this is this is plus this is plus now these two gets cancelled 2 2 gets cancelled so i can get minus i tan theta by 2 minus i tan theta by 2 okay my friends and okay so this i can write it as what minus i tan of what is theta argument z by 2 something has missed here something has missed here you please check the uh, statement properly because uh, 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 these are the steps you have to solve you please check i think i i have not done any mistake here everything is fine some something has missed in the statement only so that may be the small mistake that, that has been given in the statement no problem and it is the most familiar point and you have solved the same problem in our access 4.1 also you please practice now coming to 15th second problem and of course here also my friends again uh, some uh, uh, question is wrong something has wrong in the question maybe the statement is uh, some uh, m has missed in the statement okay don't worry here what i'm doing is i have considered my z is uh, x is equal to r cos theta and one is equal to r sin theta you consider like this it's a very simple one 
i x plus 1 becomes now th like this this is another technique okay now it is i or i think i can take this is cos theta minus i sin theta therefore i x minus 1 is equal to i r into cos theta plus i sin theta but this is the here m term has missed so i x plus 1 by i x minus 1 whole power m is equal to i r cos theta minus i sin theta by i r into cos theta plus i sin theta whole power m so in numerator this i can i r i r gets cancelled this is e power minus 2 m i because after simplification this is what cos m theta minus i sin m theta by d moi's theorem by this is cos m theta plus i sin m theta this i can write it as e power minus i m theta by e power i m theta this is e power minus 2 m i theta that i have written directly okay but theta is equal to what cot inverse x theta is equal to what cot inverse x okay therefore e power 2 m i cot inverse x i x plus 1 by i x minus 1 whole power m is equal to e power 2 m i m cot inverse x into e power minus 2 i m cot inverse x these two gets cancel e power 0 that is equal so here m has missed that's why something wrong in the question the original statement may be because some basic common sense because here m is given suppose if m is not there then it is not necessary to write m since it is m is given so some should something should be here otherwise how come uh, this minus 2mx and minus 2 uh, minus 2m uh, uh, cot inverse x and plus 2m cot inverse x will get it that's why so here you please change the statement you will get the answer quickly okay my friends the beautiful point is instead of taking x is equal to uh, z is equal to x plus i by u because here i x plus 1 is given that's why conveniently i have taken my i as r x as what r cos theta and 1 r sin theta thereby i x plus 1 i constructed that as a complex number and things are in my control and i simplified it i got answer very e easily and clear now coming my friends hope you enjoyed this video if you feel if you like like this you please share and subscribe my channel and please don't forget to press the bell icon and we will meet with the next lessons thank you